WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, we're back, folks. This is Larry Pesavano talking to you about the mid morning, mid afternoon update here at TFNN. So, folks, there's a sea of red out here today. We've got the stock market hit very, very substantially today uh, because of the uh, jobs report that was just off the charts. In fact, it was what they called an unbelievable number. Uh, we have gold is down a hundred dollars an ounce, folks, in two days. I posted the chart here in the den so you could take a look at it. But that is a huge, huge move to the downside. We're also seeing Treasury bonds getting hammered really badly to the downside, down over two points. And uh, most of the stock, in, well, all of the stock indices are down substantially. The Dow was trying to, to uh, get positive a little while ago, but then it gave it back uh, one more time. But the big, the big thing today is the fact that the U.S. dollar has been extremely strong, i.e., the euro being weak. And then along with that, we have uh, silver down uh, $2, believe it or not, folks, $2 an ounce in two days. That's, that's equivalent to $10,000. Just like it is in the uh, in the gold dropping, uh, you know, hundred dollars uh, an ounce in in two days is is ten thousand uh, dollars. It's just really a, a lot of volatility. So we're going to expect more and more as we come into next week. Uh, the currencies are are actually uh, getting hammered pretty hard with the dollar being as strong as it is, and that looks like it's coming off of a major bottom here. So that could be some follow through uh, to the uh, upside, which would mean that gold would be uh, under some more pressure. We think that gold could easily get down to that 1835 level, uh, which is a 382 retracement of a whole move up from 1618 that we made, uh, you know, way back in uh, in December. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that one for sure. But the stocks are weakening a little bit. Uh, started off with the Nasdaq, of course, yesterday with the uh, bad news about Google, and then also Apple that sold everything off. And so that's what's happening right now in the markets. But you know, these things could change in a heartbeat, folks. And a lot of times they do. So the one thing you got to remember is you've got to remember to put a stop in because if you don't, you're in big trouble. We'll be right back with my show, Fibonacci 24-7, in just a few minutes and trade what you see, not what you think. <laughs> 